Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Mustafa and this is WP360. Today we're going to take a look at a very powerful WordPress plugin. It's called Site Origin CSS. So what is CSS? CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. It's basically a file that is attached to every single website that has instruction for the browser to design and style every uh, single element on that web page. So in our case, if we go to the dashboard, we go to appearance and then editor. You got all these files that included in that theme. And then at the bottom, there's the style sheet, which is style.css. So all that is, all those are the instruction for the web browser. And usually the developer has to uh, write those down but in our case we don't have to do that because we're going to use the plugin which has a user interface where you can interact with every single element and style it let's take a look at installing the plugin so we go to the plugin tab and then we click add new and then we search for the site origin CSS and then will get it installed now I already installed it so once you install that and then activate it you'll go to appearance custom CSS and that's the first look of that plugin so before we dive into how to use this plugin uh, I have a few tips for you guys uh, so it can make it a little bit easier for you so the first one is when you use this plugin and customize anything with CSS don't overdo it sometimes you just like what you're doing we're changing everything and you, you have the power to change everything and you ended up just changing everything and then it will be a mess at the end so just don't overdo it theme is already look good you just have to give it that unique identity to your website or your clients website the second uh, thing is uh, reverse uh, anything that you do in this uh, live uh, feed here so anything that I do here if I click on anything I'm, I'm gonna get back to this and show you exactly what to do but for example I selected this I wanted to change the color and then once I click this check mark that thing is already written here so anything that you that that is written here if you don't like it if you mess it up when you click save it's already written into the uh, page so if I refresh you see that color has changed now but if I go back and I don't like it and I want to reverse back I can just delete it and then click save CSS again and then once you go back voila everything back to normal so just remember what you did and then just delete it and then you will be back uh, to the first step uh, now the third tip it's if you have an existed website and then you want to modify it and you want to use this CSS or any changes that you want to add to WordPress it's always a good idea to back up WordPress uh, just back it up just download one of those good plugins I'm gonna have a link in the description uh, for what I use to back up WordPress and you can just back it up so once you launch the the plugin this is what you're gonna see if you click on that little I thing here that will take you to the main interface now this is the home page look at here there is another page if you click on it it won't take you there because you have to click on that link here so you click on that and then it will take you to the second page and if you want to go back to the home page you click on whatever the home page is and then you click back on it and then you're back on the home page so uh, this interface has three tabs text decoration and layout one thing is very important is anything that has a pixel don't change anything with it because that will affect the responsiveness of your uh, website and you don't want to do that most of themes are beautifully designed to be responsive and that is very very good feature to have for your website so don't mess with anything that has pixel now the text tab is pretty generic for uh, any text uh, editing tool you know you can change the color size font size style uh, all the stuff uh, so you can change the color if you want to change the color you highlight the text then you go to the text color you click and then you pick which color and then voila it's that color the second thing is the style weight all the stuff uh, 
align text align i usually use that with uh, paragraphs uh, font family uh, it does not have a drop down menu but if you go to any list of font families and you copy that name and you paste it here it will change whatever you highlighted and it will work it will it will simply work so uh, that's basically what it is for text there's nothing much to it uh, if we go to uh, decoration that will take us to uh, a little bit more uh, functions here so the first thing is background color so one thing I want to mention you see every time I'm hovering on an element it's selecting that element so I'm selecting this big one right now this is the middle one selecting the text now the, the title so every time you move so if I want to change the background of this I just click on this and then I change the color and then now it's 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 changed and it's a different color now positioning oh let's go to, to image first uh, background image is basically most of the themes comes with a background image but some of them don't so like this one it doesn't have a background image so what I need to do is I click on that main one and then I can select I have a background here so we can see how it's gonna look like so see it's the background is behind my my my, my content on that page now that's repeated so that's that doesn't look good because that's my my image right there so I can go to the background uh, uh, repeat and I say no repeat so I don't want it to repeat and I want it to be a cover so when you you select the cover it will fill the entire section and then it won't move so the content will scroll on top of it which is I think it's a pretty cool effect to have uh, for your website so that's basically background positioning don't play with it don't mess with it it works just by doing by doing the background size and then the background repeat it will look good and then you don't need to mess with the positioning and again it might affect your uh, 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 responsiveness now one thing that I like here is the box shadow and then the borders that 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 little thing here so if I select this entire thing and I give it a, 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 a border let's say let's give it a five pixel and we make it let's make it like solid and then let's change the color to something like that for example so that's basically my border so i can have top border sides and then bottom which one you want i i like to have it around so if i look at the box shadow right now i can add shadow using css so the, the the shadow has has usually three two to four uh, uh, elements so if I do five pixel here and then I add another five pixel you can see that I, I just added the very first five and added the five here five pixel of shadow here and the second one added it on the bottom the third one is usually when you do five pixel it's gonna fade it a little bit and I think that's like super cool if you want to change the color of the shadow you can copy anything that you want and you paste it and then now that color is is different so that's basically with with shadow uh, there's it's I think it's super cool and I think you should learn how to do shadow because it gives your website uh, a, a 3d look Let's move on to the third tab, which is the, the layout. Now, the layout is is a is a is a very critical uh, adjustment that you can do with 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 the CSS because it can mess up a lot of things. One thing you can do easily is add in a margin and a padding. Now, to understand margin and paddings, because I know this could be uh, confusing a little bit, the margin will add the pixel outside the box. The padding will add it inside the box. So the more padding you add to this box, the smaller that content will be. And more margin you add to outside this box, the more space you want to fit your existing element. So you have to make sure that you know what you're doing. So if I add padding to this, if I select this, 
and add padding this to like five up to like that it's not selecting the right one all right there you go See, now it added the padding. So you just have to be careful which one you select because I was selecting the border and it wasn't added the border. So I have to select the, the one in the middle and that's how it added the padding. But I don't want any padding here. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Positioning. Again, that's another thing. You don't have to do anything with it. The theme is, is, is responsive. It's laid out pretty good. So don't mess with it. Positioning, uh, all this stuff. I would stay away with it but basically that's if you need to specify the position for an element you can do that absolute positioning is basically uh, uh, where is this this element comparing to to this this container that it's in but again stay away from it you don't have to do anything with it uh, sometimes you're gonna need some stuff here like if if you have an element that you don't want it to, do, to be displayed so if you click on that and then you get display none, it will disappear. So if I go disappear none, it's gone. But you don't want that. But sometimes you do. So that's basically it, guys, for for this uh, uh, CSS plugin. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, uh, drop a comment, uh, send me an email, and then I will. Uh, make a separate video or I will answer you uh, by emailing you back. Uh, thanks all for watching and I wish you have a good day. Thank you.